And let's get your thoughts to think outside of your fight a little bit. Who do you got in the finale? Who do you think is taking home the title? I got to go for my friend from Cali, Carla. I mean, she's, you know, she's a friend and a training partner outside of the show, and I really want that belt to come back to Cali. It sounds like on Saturday night there's already a number one contender fight. I mean, do you feel, how do you feel like your career should progress from here? Because obviously it's a brand new weight class, you know. Do you feel like you should be considered a number one contender because you're in the semifinals? Do you feel like you might have to win a few fights? What, what do you think? You know, I'm really not sure what they have planned it. I know that they'll establish the rankings after, you know, the finale on Friday and kind of go from there. I think it's great that they're already working on building the weight class outside of the show, so it's not just about the girls on the show, and uh, there's a lot of depth to this weight class, so I think there's going to be a lot of really exciting matches. How do you look at the girls that didn't go to the show? I mean, like, I mean, obviously, you know, Paige couldn't do it. There were reasons some people couldn't, but do you look at them like, why, you know, they shouldn't get that respect. They had, you know, they didn't have to go through what we went through. They got to go right to the UFC. I mean, is there any like jealousy or frustration? I mean, I'm I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. I'm I'm happy with how I am and where I'm at. And I really can't look at anybody else and judge them or or you know, wish this and that because it's not the reality of it. So I'm I'm happy where I am. Look, outside of your fight again, it's a big fight weekend. Um, there's another card on Saturday night. Junior dos Santos, Steve Miocic, main event there. Who do you got in that fight? That easy. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And one, one other question I want to get from you. Um, this past weekend, uh, we saw CM Punk, a professional wrestler, come into the, to the organization. What do you think? Um, are you familiar with him at all? And does, do you think he has a chance to be successful in the UFC? I'm familiar with him, but just because he has a very, you know, well-known, established name in, in pro wrestling. But I mean, I think it's really exciting. I think, you know, the UFC is, is you know, kind of broadening their, their perspective. And I think it's great to have you know, somebody from that discipline in it, and, and I'd love to see what he can do. You obviously did really well on the show, but did you feel like you were at your best in, in those fights? Like, if you had a regular training camp at home, would you have, you know, done, done better? I, I, I did the best that I could with, with my circumstances. I definitely know that I can do a lot better than what I showed, but I'm, yeah. I'm proud of myself for my accomplishment. It was, it was really hard for me being in that house and not having any alone time and being away from all the comforts of home, but it was difficult for everyone. I think some people did a little bit better than they would have had they had a regular training camp, and I think mm -hmm. some people did a little bit uh, under what they would have performed in that house. So it's just, it's all relative, and, and I'm proud of myself for what I did, but I know I can always do better. You kind of stayed like away from all the uh, all the drama and all the stuff that was going on. Oh my gosh, I had to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I think that a lot of people just got really wrapped up into what was going on, and to kind of have to keep reliving it after it's been filmed with, you know, each week on Wednesday when it airs. Uh, it's been a little bit stressful, and I, I can't wait to kind of get past it. For sure. Um, I know I know. John asked you this up before, but, you, you know, you, you and Andre are both you know, semi-finalists and, and you fight, you know, on Friday. I know I know that, you, you know, you don't want to, you know, tell the UFC what to do, but does that feel a little bit like a, it could be a number one contender fight or it should be a number one contender fight because you did really well against Carla and, you know, you were right there in that fight. Um, I, I definitely think that... It'll, it'll establish the rankings after after Friday, and right. we'll see where I'm at. But I, I definitely know that I'm I'm a contender for the title. It, it may take me a couple fights. I'm not really sure what they have in mind, but I know I'm right up there. Well, talking about uh, being at the house, were there any uh, anything that didn't show on the TV that uh, was interesting that you think people would like to know about? I think there were a lot of things that didn't air. I mean, you only have what is it, 11, 12 episodes, and it was seven weeks of filming. So I think that what didn't get shown was was the fun that we had and, and the lack of drama that we actually had. Everything was kind of magnified and intensified surrounding the drama. But, you know, we had a good time, and, and it wasn't all about the drama. And I kind of wish that had been shown a lot more. Do you, do you think everybody was portrayed and how it really was on TV? No, I mean, everything was kind of intensified and magnified. I mean, we all had our moments and there were little, you know, steps here and there with the drama, but for the most part, those, those things died down. So how, how tough is it to be training and then going back to a situation like that where you're not at home and not in your natural environment, does that uh, affect you much? Um, I, I definitely think it did. I think that I did really well under the circumstances. I did the best that I could. But, you know, you can always do better when you're a little bit more comfortable with your surroundings.